and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got the American League Wild Card Series on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Milwaukee Brewers. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. Postseason baseball singing. It's always great to see and be a part of. Bellberg, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch and on the mound now Corbin Burns. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants. Now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Corbin Carroll stands in here leaves that one off the inside. First and the right hander deals swing and a miss and it's one and one. Rip to short. One out in the top of the first. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. In there for strike one. Here comes a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. In the air, out towards left center. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. One out, runner at second. Here's Tommy Pham. Strike one. Marte, the runner at second with one away. Strike two. Righty delivers. That one off the mark. Now one and two. Kicks and deals. And yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Well, he showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there, not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there, and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. Runner at second, two down.
swing and a miss. One one. And a count even at one. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, one, and he tied the College World Series record for most career hits with 28. Two outs. That's inside. inside. It's a good take. Swing and a slow roller. Gathers and throws to first. And that is that. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Now it's the Brewers' turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Back here at American Family Field, getting the nod on the mound. Brandon Fack. Chris, what are you looking for from him? He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. So here's the Brewers DH, Christian Yelich. The designated hitter, Christian Yelich. The wind of the pitch. He was late there, strike one. That's in there. Oh, a two down. And ball one. One ball, two strikes. Next ball. pitch misses. Now two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Ripped base hit around first and hustling for second, and he's there with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now it's William Contreras. Swing and a base hit. Yelich flies around third. He'll score, and it's 1-0. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. First oh. offering, misses the mark. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Ah. Gets the outside corner with that one. The yeah. count one and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. He goes down looking. Here's Mark Canna. And that's in there for strike one. pitch that one drifts Whoa. inside and yeah, that's in for a strike got him back to back strikeouts 
And now the center fielder, Sal Fraley. That one's in there on one. Contreras off of first with two away. Lifted in the air down the left side. Guriel racing over to make the catch. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're watching the American League Wild Card Series on the show. New inning getting started. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. Burns back to work. And there's a ball. Righty to the plate. In the air, right field. Taylor ranging after him. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. That one's in there, and that's strike one. Next pitch has popped up. Terang pulls it down, and there's two down. That is, that is the center of the ball. Alec. Alec Thomas now. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. In there, and it's 0-1. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Off the ball. mark there. It's a ball and two strikes. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover oh. out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. You but he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Oh. Goes down looking. And the Diamondbacks down in order. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here in Milwaukee, Willie Adamas stands in. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Ball one, no strikes. I remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. There's a strike. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Two one. And the pitch is in for a strike. And the count's even at two. Got him. Adamas down on strikes. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum of that barrel. Good pitch. Had him fooled. Here's Josh Donaldson. 
And the first ball pitch one. misses for ball one. Early in his career with Oakland, with Donaldson struggling, he watched a lot of video on Miguel Cabrera and Jose Bautista. A's people didn't like it. They said, be yourself. He said, well, I stink, and I need to figure out why they're good. Yeah, I love that, and you got to figure it out no matter what it takes. So he became good. And now two and one. And downstairs. The line of the pitch. They say it went. Two on the way. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that one. This is Bryce Terang. Fouled off left side. And he deals. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, and two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Two, two. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter's side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Next one just misses. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three balls, two strikes to count. Left field. He dives, but he can't make the catch. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Sure, a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Next to hit, Tyrone Taylor. Rips that one to right. Squeezes it. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Here's Yelich at the dish. Double the lead off the bottom of the first. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. The pitch. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Liner, base hit. Donaldson coming around third. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. And they lead by two. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. First and third, two away. And here's the catcher, William Contreras. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Ball. Pitch misses there, and one that ball. is no ball strike. one. No. 
And here it comes. Ripped on a line. And that should be extra bases. One run is in. Yelich around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. And they lead by four. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So two down. Now it's going to be Carlos Santana. Caught looking his first time up. And that's in there for strike one. Contreras at second with two down. And there's a foul ball. Man at second. Caught him looking for the K. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. We play two full. It's the Brewers four and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. The third base number three. I'm always interested in guys like Evan Longoria. He didn't have any scholarship offers out of high school, wasn't drafted out of high school, but eventually ended up at Long Beach State and became a first-round pick. How do you go from not drafted to a first-rounder? And the 1-0. Swing and a miss. Yeah, and then becoming a superstar there for a while with the Tampa Bay Rays, and pretty incredible. Just a quiet player, goes about his business day in and day out, actually played third base next to Troy Tulowitzki at shortstop at Long Beach State. And slept on his couch. Him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And here is Geraldo Perdomo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that one fouled off. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone even realizes that it's an M oh. and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother had that ball cap, and I would just kind of borrow it. Some would say steal it, but it was just such a cool-looking logo. I had no idea until years later that that's what was hidden on the inside of it, that M and that B, but very, very cool. Back to work, 3-2 now. Boots it. Even there he's safe. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. This is Corbin Carroll. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Good eye right there. If you're playing right now, tweet out, I was this many days old when I found out the Brewers glove logo is an M and a B. Hashtag MLB the show. Because I guarantee you there are people playing right now that had no idea there was an M and a B in that logo. <laughs> That's a great point. In the air to left center. Freelich snags it on the run. Man, is he fast. That is so fun to watch. I think it's one of the best all time. An art student at UW Eau Claire created it. It is super creative, and I think one of the better logos we have in the sport. Man at first, Cattell Marte up to the plate. 
outside. Wow. Good eye right there. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. And he pumps it a strike. And now two and two. Well, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Here comes a 3-2. Can't glove it cleanly. Well, with two outs, I'm thinking he had his mind on getting in the dugout so they could get to hit, and all it takes is just a little lapse in concentration. So now let's see if his pitcher will pick him up. First and second, two down. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Tommy Pham. In there for strike one. First and second, two down. Fan checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. The 1 1. And a foul ball. pitch into center and a base hit Perdomo coming home Fraley fires it to the plate and he's in there a run comes in on the play right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field man there are a lot of hits there and now it's Christian Walker grounded out his first time up Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. A one down. Just oh. missed. And that's, that's down and away. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one ripped right center field. Taylor raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-1. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. Fat back to work. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Now, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Well, these Brewers did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Out to short, Perdomo. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. And stepping in is the speedy Sal Fraley. Fly to left his first time up. 
And ball takes one. low for ball one. One ball, no strike. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And he makes the catch. And there are two outs. Now that not so stop. Really. Two oh, outs, no. base is empty. Next for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. His first at bat was a strikeout. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. First offering, and it just misses. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And a 1-1. One -one. And New another one. ball. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. And that's ball, ball four. four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And as well, lots of pop in that bet. So you combine the slug with really good defense. The 1 0. And that one off the outside edge. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. So first and second with two outs. Bryce Terrain no, up now ball. for the Brewers. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Adamas on second. Donaldson on at first with two down. Next pitch is outside. And the righty deals. That's in there. And a count two and one. Left hand batter waits. And that's too high. Tyrone Taylor up next for the Brewers. The 3 1. Curveball drops in for a strike. 3 1 count. Saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count full. Fights it off. He'll see another. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Right hander kicks, deals, spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Wings and lines a base hit into left field. Now a long throw home. The run comes in from second. It's 5-1. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So two on with two away. Up now for Milwaukee, Tyrone Taylor. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Come on, come on. 
at the belt and fires. Slice to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Game three moves on to the fourth. It's the Brewers five and the Diamondbacks one. And welcome back. On to the fourth. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. And a pitch. Just oh. missed. Well, these Diamondbacks showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And that one is lifted in the air. Taylor calls it in, and there's one away. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Goriel gets a piece. And the pitch. Out towards left center. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The center number five, Alec. Here's a speed threat, Thomas. Alec Thomas. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. The throw in, not gonna get him, he's in there. Waste no time there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, he let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. At the play, Evan Longoria. Struck out looking at his first at bat. That's In strike. for a strike, going one. Oh, one. And a pitch. And a strike in there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Right through there. Got it. Down on strikes. And he knew it. One left for Arizona. They're down 5-1. Ready to go, bottom four. Go. And yeah, now it's Christian Yelich. The designated hitter. Christian Yelich. And a pitch. That's towards center. Thomas gets under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And now the catcher comes up to hit. William Contreras. First pitch, just misses. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. That's off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. 
The wind and the pitch. That one missed. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. And here's the first baseman, Carlos Santana. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Not many guys go up there looking for an 0 0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. Next offering is downstairs. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The why to kick the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and fires. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Gone in order are the Brewers. They're up 5-1. Back here at American Family Field. Top five, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Geraldo Perdomo. The right-hander back to work. A little bit low. You know, these D-backs finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Smoked on the ground a second. Fires over to first. And a quick out number one. So the lineup flips over. Corbin Carroll, the next to hit. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Canna makes the grab, two away. Here's Cattell Marte, one for two. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. That hits the dirt, and it's one and oh. And that skips in the dirt. And it is two and one. Two ball, one strike. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the right hander deals. Ball. That one misses. And that's ball Ooh, yeah. three. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And that one hops the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And now, Tommy Pham. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Pham tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. 
two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. And what ball two? one. Fights that one away, still one and two. One, two misses to even the count. Ball. Three, two now. Okay. Christian Walker up next. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And it's into the gap. Well, that gets them a little closer in this one. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Man at second here with two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Christian Walker. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning uh -huh. track. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four ball hitter up. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. D-backs with a run scoring double. It's now 5-2. Bottom of the inning. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Mark Canna. No left field. The pitch. Yeah. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0-1. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Bryce Jarvis appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Thompson warming up as well. That misses. Ball. One and one. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. In the air, left field. Guriel has it sized up. Pulls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder That's coming really open really instead of staying there. closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Here comes the 0 1. Ball inside. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next to hit, Willie Adamas. In there, and it's 0-1.
Fralin at first one gone. That's in there, and it's nothing in two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. The 0-2, and the pitch is outside. Ball one. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Fat checks over to first, and he's back. Kicks and deals. Bounce to the right side. Marte throws the first in time. Inning over. Brewers strand one, and it remains 5-2. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. And now, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. Burns back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. The 1 1. And strike two. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. That misses the zone. Two and two. I like the sequence right here. Jammed him on that last pitch, then trying to go away. You get that hitter leaning out over the plate a little bit. Now he's very vulnerable again to something inside, like we saw earlier. That one misses. Full count now. The 3 2 oh, is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Here's Guriel. That's in there. That's strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. Didn't go. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Squirts away a little bit. And the runner holds. Righty delivers. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And that one hammered way back there. Up against the wall and brings it in. Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right, right there. Almost got out of here thanks to the win. It's whipping right now. Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Smoked in the left, base hit. 
They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. The pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Now at the plate, Evan Longoria. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering misses the mark. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Joel Pyamps up and loosening in the pen. Wilson getting loose as well. The pitch. That clips the corner. pitch in the air right field Taylor calls it in for the out two down yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat so first and second with two outs Geraldo Perdomo getting ready to hit And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Two outs. Moreno over at second. Thomas at first. Two out of the inning. Next offering misses. And yeah, the count one and two. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away. But he wouldn't bite. Foul ball still a one and two count. And he deals. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And the runners will move up. Two outs, two in scoring position. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. No. Just missed. That's a really good take. Corbin Carroll on deck for Arizona. And here's a 3-2. And they're all loaded up. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. In the box now, take strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind or one. Two outs, bases are full. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Diamondbacks leave him loaded, and the deficit remains 5-2. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Bryce Jarvis. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Now here is Bryce Terang. And the pitch. Upstairs. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Kevin Ginkle up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello.
the 1 0. Line drive. Makes the catch. And there's one down. The right field, number 15. So digging in, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Jarvis, in his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Next offering is in for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Oh, great stop. The throw on the money. Nice play. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Now it's Christian oh. Yelich. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. Check swing, but he went too far. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. That's down oh. and in. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2 2. And now the count filled up three and two. Okay. William Contreras waiting for a turn at the plate. Three, and down three. on strikes. And that'll do it. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They're still out in front, 5-2. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Joel Payans. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 31, Joel. Now the number two hitter, Cattell Marte. The D backs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. Good eye right oh. there. But with both starters out of this ball One game, ball. it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's ball able to two. get to the finish line. Next two pitch ball. is outside. In the air to left, down the line. Canna gliding to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Up next to the timeout. Tommy Pham will hit next. Out in front and foul to the left side. On the ground. Throw on to Santana. And a couple of quick outs. Oh, nice job by the shortstop to field that oh, on the backhand and gather himself, get his feet underneath him. He had a long throw, but he knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure the grip, and finish the throw. Now, Christian Walker. Swing and a foul straight back. That one pushed foul. Right-handed reliever. 
Pitch misses. Now one and two. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Next offering is foul back. That one hit to right. Taylor hustling after it. Can't get their base hit. And into second easily with a two out double. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. So, man aboard. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Lifted in the air, right field. Taylor hustling after it. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that is that. One left for the Diamondbacks. They trail at 5 2. Back here in Milwaukee, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. And here it comes. There's a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The wind of the pitch. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there's one away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Santana stands in here, takes ball one low. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. This to third. Nice play. To first. In the dirt. He picks it. And that's a great play. Cat like reflexes on that one. Makes the dive. Has to get up. Clean exchange and throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. Now the left fielder, Mark Canna. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And puts the squeeze on that, and that will end the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Elvis Piguero. Number 59, Elvis Piguero. Lourdes Goriel Jr. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The pitch. Guriel started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and yes, he offered at it. Foul ball. And a pitch. And that just misses. 
Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next one misses, and it's two and two. In the air, out towards left center. Fralin makes the grab, one away. The center field, number five. Alec Thomas Alec. stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Oh, and a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Foul ball there. Here's the 0-2. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Freilich has a beat on it. And there's two away. The third base, number three. Now up next for Arizona, Evan Longoria. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. Ball one. One one. Check swing. Now to look down to first. And he won around. Rule the swing. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Two down, nobody on. And it's even up. At the belt and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a right-hander deals. On the ground to short. Adamas gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Ryan Thompson gets the call from the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Yeah, the batter now, Sal Freeland. The pitch. That's in there, and that is strike one. Good eye right there. So now one and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base.
The 0-1. That's through there for a strike. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Kevin Ginkle up and throwing for manager Troy Lavello. The pitch. Got him swinging. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Donaldson in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Going to count one and two. And a ball evens the count. Next pitch is outside. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Number two. Bryce Terrain up now for the Brewers. Down the right field line and a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Donaldson coming around third. Marte with a relay home, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. back it's the top of the ninth and there's a new pitcher on the mound Devin Williams he's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs it out Geraldo Perdomo digs in now the pitch there's a strike Ready to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. the outside edge and now the count is two and two worm burner into the outfield for a knock singy that's a start yeah as soon as that ball got through I could see down in the dugout guys pumping their fists they know that they got a chance in this ball game And now it's going to be Corbin Carroll. First offering and it just misses. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And there's a strike. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. 
Strike two. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Took that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part curveball, a reverse curveball, I guess, and clearly it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see, and that was a great one right there. Next to hit for Arizona, Cattell Marte. That one's in there. One one. Right hander kicks deals. He swings and fouls one off. Perdomo leads off first with one away. pitch look out and it hit him he had two strikes on him and he hit him no, but look, I'll tell you firsthand retired players we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about Bam. in the box with one away as he takes ball one this is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game but they're going to make him work to get this save. Kicks and fires. And that one pulled foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch inside, two and one. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. A little out front there as he swings through it. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting the ground ball and get out of this little jam. Righty delivers. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's the bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And first offering is fouled off. And now one strike away. Not close with that one. Ball one. Always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches.